Hi everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors, and we are excited to welcome Kelly McLaughlin. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're happy to be back. We are doing our board candidate interviews this year, and we're going to kick it off and get right to it. Kelly, why don't you give us your elevator pitch? Tell us why you're here and why you're running for the Board of Directors. Well, I'm here because this is a fantastic opportunity, obviously, um, to volunteer. Um, I have had some really wonderful people that I've worked with in volunteer roles throughout um, at ABOR, and they have encouraged me to step up in this way, and I'm so grateful. And so, you know, if I can do that for any one other agent and try to inspire more people to step up in this role or these kinds of roles in, within um, ABOR, I think it would be worth worth the volunteer time for sure. Well, thank you. We're excited to have you. Um, well, tell us what what you will do to reinforce the value of the MLS and the association. You know, I think that the board has already done such an amazing job reinforcing the MLS. I mean, actress the the changes to the strategic plan have just been really fantastic. The new app um, is great. I think what I would like to see. Um, and advocate for would be a little bit more um, kind of some consumer facing tools mm -hmm. uh, where our, cons our consumers can engage with us um, through the same kind of data platform. Yeah, that's great. And so just this last week, we unveiled our new rebrand for Actress. So it's now Unlock MLS and it came with that app. And that was a little bit of that effort to sort of connect the, the member to their clients. And so thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> and with that said, also, we are ending our five-year strategic plan. I can't even believe we're saying that. And we are embarking on our next strategic plan. So tell us what you find worked well or that you would like to see continue into our next strategic plan and maybe some things that you'd like to bring to the table that you might want to see for our next strategic plan. You know, it is amazing to think that 2019 was when that came out. Yeah. And reviewing some of that information prior to coming in and talking with you, uh, wow, I mean, we've had a whole pandemic since then. And just <laughs> there's been so many things that have happened. And when you look back over those, those um, initiatives and how well um, the board has done in, in accomplishing a lot of those goals, I think it's really remarkable considering just everything that um, our, our board, our market, our country has been through yeah. um, in the last five years. Um, the, uh, the themes are still, I think, very consistent with the way we need to move forward. I mean, obviously, you know, elevating our profession is something that we always want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, being accessible is something that we always want to do. Yeah. So I think, you know, continuing to press forward the things have, that have been successful, mm -hmm. but then also just being really approachable and having an open mind and being a good listener for things uh, that maybe we do need to change and add. Yeah, it sounds like the voice and tone that we've kind of carried forward with that transparency and, and approachability for ABOR and now Unlock MLS is sort of resonating with the members and you would like to carry that forward um, is kind of what I'm hearing you say. And yeah, so yes. <laughs> tell us about you as a person, some of your um, history in real estate and what you would like to bring to the table that will help move the organization forward. Uh, well, I just finished my broker's license, which I'm very, very excited about that. Lots of studying and, and um, you know, test taking, et cetera. So I'm happy about that. Um, I've been an, an agent for eight years, um, going into my ninth year now. Um, I have a background in corporate marketing, advertising, um, and I just absolutely love being a realtor. I feel like home is what we do, the, the jobs that we do, is, it's just such purposeful work, mm -hmm. so, such meaningful work. Um, and so I, I really want to carry that forward again in the volunteer aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and I volunteered here at the board um, on the vetting committee, the MLS committee. I currently serve um, as a policy advocate for District 7 for Leslie Pools District. Okay. And, you know, it is so great to be involved and really feel like you're doing good things for your industry um, alongside that purposeful work of helping people you know, find home and find good investment yeah. vehicles. So. Yeah. So I'm going to flip a little bit on you okay. <laughs> and ask you what keeps you up at night? What are some of these industry dynamics and, you know, the biggest changes impacting our industry that is just keeping you up at night? And what do you think that, that Unlock MLS and ABOR can do moving forward? You know, um, I think that, I mean, obviously with the market shifting and there being some changes, 
I mean, year over year, I mean, I think in 2021, we all felt like we were just drinking out of a fire hydrant, <laughs> yeah. you know, and now it's like, oh, okay, we kind of got our breath and where do we go from here sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So um, first of all, you know, congratulations on bringing Claire on board and, yes. you know, for us as agents to be able to go out into the community and talk about real data mm -hmm. um, that's meaningful um, that's factual. Yes. Um, and so, you know, those are the kinds of things that kind of keep me up at night. It's like, you know, where are we going? Um, how is our industry changing? And, and I think that we have to keep our eyes open to those changes, but mm -hmm. also we have to be ourselves open to things not always being the same. Yeah. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, change is inevitable. Yes. And um, we're going to move forward no matter what. And so in what way we do that is kind of what I'm hearing you say is like we have to embr both embrace it and be aware of that change coming at us. So, right. And also you. as business professionals, yeah. as entrepreneurs in our own businesses or however we present ourselves um, in this industry, taking the time to work on our business sometimes and not just be sort of in it all the time yeah. and thinking about, you know, how am I going to grow? How is my business going to grow? How am I going to help other people that are in this industry alongside me also grow? Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, I feel like that's something that I would really want to focus on a lot. Um, you know, if I was elected would be, you know, how, what are the resources that we can give the business owners that we are every day? Wonderful. Thank you for those answers. So um, lastly, tell us just some parting words, the audience watching, um, those voters are your constituents. Tell us what you want them to know about you. Some last last few words for us. You know, what I would like to say is that volunteering at the Board of Realtors is such an excellent opportunity for career growth and networking and a way to really build meaningful relationships um, you know, in, in our, our local area. And I would just encourage you to, to do that and to also take the time, if you can't do that, to just thank the ones that do because there are so many great people that are currently serving on our boards and committees um, that really have a passion for what they're doing. Um, and, and I hope that you will allow me to be one of those for you as well. Thank you very much, Kelly. Thank you for being here. Uh, so don't forget to vote September 20th for the Austin Board of Realtors 2024 Board of Directors. I'm Kalea Youngblood, again, your Chief Marketing Officer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.